everyone, and welcome back to more Ratchet & Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. Today, we are going to go and head to the next planet, because it's actually been a little while since the last recording session. Because, uh, for reference, uh, last time I did this Let's Play was like a couple months ago. So, uh, yeah! Let's go to the Starship Phoenix! Sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice. You'll always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. Back! That moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me! If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q-Force. What? This Q-Force must be stopped! Destroy them! Eradicate them! Annihilate them all! <laughs> it's on my to-do list. Right after folding your undergarments. Undergarments? Nefarious doesn't even wear clothes! Okay, then. Team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh... Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi, I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day. But we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. <laughs> the plan is excellent. <laughs> You know, one of my biggest flaws with this game is that it's essentially Ratchet doing everything while everyone else just sits back and watches. That is super annoying at times, and this is one of the few cases where, uh, man, it's just gonna be stupid annoying because they're sending Ratchet in on a one-man army. Like, imagine this! Imagine you're watching, like, Attack of the Clones. Oh. That new armor suit for sale at the vendor is constructed from ionized adamantine alloy. That's one of the hardest substances in the galaxy. But I suppose you already knew that. Alright, so anyway, now let's go grab that new armor. Aw, oh, come on! We're literally just like 800, well, like 8,000 off, which we'll get that armor then. We will get it soon. But anyway, now we're just gonna go head over to the ship, and man, I can't wait till we get the charge boots. That's gonna make everything a lot faster. Anyway, let's head back to the ship and go to Tyrannosis. But as I was saying though, imagine for Attack of the Clones in this kind of situation where they're all going to Geonosis. Imagine, well, to rescue Anakin and Obi-Wan. Imagine instead for like, instead of a whole clone army, you just send in one, one clone. 
That's essentially what they're doing. <sighs> I should be more generous. At least one Jedi. But, yeah. Here we are. Tyrannosis. An obvious Star Wars reference. Here we go. So, yeah, this is just another skydiving segment. It's pretty simple. Yeah, just gotta avoid all the annoying rockets here and watch as all- Oh, gosh dang it, that actually hit me! I never get hit in these! Okay, now- Oh, wow. Okay, that's, uh... Wow, I got hit twice in this. That's not a good sign of things to come. Oh, boy, I'm not gonna- Three times! Really? Really? Now, if only I had, like, a little acceleration button. Like how, you know, how Sonic has that when he's skydiving, like, um, halo jumping, I guess? I'm not sure, but, yeah, Sonic has that. It, I don't even think Ratchet ever got that, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Oh, why didn't, okay, there's the agents now. Don't know why they didn't spawn a moment ago. Oh well, let's just go ahead and grab all, well, break all these crates and grab all the bolts from them. Oh man, I need that. The Annihilator is one of those weapons that teases you the entire game until you can get it. Yeah, I know, it's... It's annoying, but hey, it's a, it's a really good rocket launcher. Not the best one in the series, far from it in my opinion. There have been too many good rocket launchers in Ratchet & Clank games to count, but yeah. Anyway, we're just gonna stick with the Spinning Hydra for now. It's weird though, it's weird to know that this game actually did have a lot of uh, weapons that would later become... They were kind of the blueprints for later weapons for the future series. In this case, this weapon is similar to the Predator Launcher. And I think... No, the Chopper was in the other game where that's kind of a precursor to the Buzz Blades, I believe? No, uh, what would be the one for that? I can't remember, but it's still interesting to see. All right. Now, let's just go use a Spinning Hydra on all of these guys. Very nice. I love this weapon, though. It is super good and definitely better than the Predator Launcher. Well, its first version. All the other games the Predator Launcher has been in have been, well, it's been great, so, yeah. Anyway, let's go continue to break all this stuff. Oh, yes, a bolt multiplier. That's gonna be nice. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is definitely gonna come in handy so I can finally get a few more bolts. Uh, speaking of which, let's just go break that crate. I know I'm wasting ammo for this thing like no tomorrow, but it's a fun weapon. Can't help it. Anyway, uh, let's go try and break this generator. Now. Oh, right, I forgot. You actually do get backup for this level, but man. So it is more like a, hey, imagine if they just sent one Jedi and a bunch of clones instead kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's a better, like, um, comparison. Anyway. Uh, let's go grab the shock blaster real quick, because, you know, I want to get this thing maxed out when I can. Break that. Very, very, very nice. And let's go ahead and break whatever the heck this pulsating thing is. Can this just break already? That'd be amazing. There we go. That took way too many hits. Nice. You know, I think that would have been better if it was just a simple bolt crank. Not gonna lie. And now let's just go break all of these crates over here. There we go. And head all the way over here. Nice work, Ratchet. I'm coming in on the dropship now. Go, Ratchet! Get across that bridge! To access your world map, press select or R3. Why did she say she was coming in on the dropship when instead it was Scrunch? Which is the actual monkey's name. Yeah. Uh, so... Whatever, let's just get on and start moving. Alright, so this segment... It, it would be great if it wasn't as automated. What do I mean by automated? Well, you can't fire the turret on the back. No, you gotta rely on the monkey for that for some reason. Yeah, so you gotta rely on AI to do the shooting. Thankfully, Ratchet Deadlocked would actually fix that issue because they'd give you another um, vehicle called the Puma in that game that, you know, you can actually shoot and has a cannon and everything, and it's awesome. This one just seems, you know, the bike, like, the little, like, bike for it seems very, very underwhelming. I wonder if it was trying to pay homage to the, uh, to the stinging warthog from Halo, but in the worst way possible. 
<laughs> that might be- well, actually, there- there have been worse warthogs and, like, warthog equivalents in video games. Look at all the Halo Killer games out there. Yeah. They do stuff a lot worse. Alright, so let's go take out all of these guys. And break these boxes. Yeah, I will say, though, that the, um, vehicle is still fun to drive. It's just, man... They could have done a bit better with that in this game, which they did do it in other games. Anyway, let's go ahead and take out this drop ship. Spinning Hydra forever, guys. It's a, it's such a fun weapon. But also, I say that while I'm using a shock blaster right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, feel the shock and awe. These stupid tyranoids. There we go. And now we're going to get some drop ship, guys. Oh, Lord. All right, bring it on, nerds. I'm ready for you all. Look, I have a new PC, and I am ready to just do whatever, like, to record every dumb thing I can. There we go. All right, so now that we're done with that, I think we gotta climb up here. I hope, I think. Yep, there we go. Let's just use a plasma whip for now, because this weapon can be very annoying to level up. Oh, boy. It can be very annoying to level up later on. All right, we're done with that, so let's just go throw it at these guys. There we go, we destroyed that. Very, oh wow, that actually killed them all, sick. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's go, do I have any other, I do have a lot of different weapons to use. Uh, let's stick to the Infector for now, I guess. Infector's actually pretty fun on this level, not gonna lie. This is like one of the few levels where it can actually come in handy. Well, till it's fully maxed out, then it actually becomes a, you know, a good weapon. Yeah, I'm going to be very mean to the Infector, because it is still, in my opinion, one of the weakest weapons in the whole series. Which is saying a lot, because Ratchet & Clank, while it has a lot of good weapons, there's also Ratchet & Clank 1's one, um, weapon arsenal, and, uh, you know, if you've all seen that Let's Play, you all know how bad that weapon arsenal can be. Like, there's only so many good ones. Okay. I keep forgetting how to reverse the controls, because I'm so used to the Puma and Ratchet Deadlocked. But yeah. Oh, shoot. That guy tried to kill me. Or at least hit me. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. It squared it back up. Awesome. Man, I'm so... Oh, oh, Lord. Yeah, this thing can be really annoying to control sometimes. Just because the acceleration and the reverse buttons are so weird. I mean, X makes sense. Oh, wow. That just immediately takes that out. Awesome. But, like, the X button to accelerate? Sure. Squared it back up. That's weird to me. And I just usually prefer, you know, using the analog stick to move. That's how I prefer it, but oh well. On the right side, though, we can ramp. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, Scrunch. Well, there he goes for now. He'll be back. Because um, any time that gets destroyed, it'll just be ill respawn. Ratchet & Clank is actually really good when it comes to that, because I know other games, like, uh, I believe with Halo and stuff like that, whenever you get your vehicle destroyed, you won't be, you'll have to find another one and it won't respawn or anything like that, which, well, unless you die, then you'll, you know, and you had it in your checkpoint, then it'll come back, but, yeah. Yeah, there's not really much to say about this level, it's just pretty alright in my opinion. Well, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but, uh, we'll soon get to an annoying segment. Oh, no, 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 no. You're kidding me! Alright, so now that we got this thing back at the cost of, well, dying, let's just go and let, let's see here. Okay, we can't go through there yet. I think that's where we're trying to unlock for now, because I believe that's the doorway to the boss fight. So we're going to get to that eventually, but for now, let's just, um, I guess, oh right, we have to go through here in order to get that, which I actually do like this segment quite a lot, even though um, you can't do something for it yet. We'll get to that soon enough. Anyway, let's just try and use the Infector. <sighs> no, you know what? Beep the Infect. I don't want to use the Infector. It is not a good weapon whatsoever, so we're just gonna go in it normally and use the Nitro Launcher instead. Yeah. Because, for I believe with the Infector, it, um... What would... Oh, uh, son of a... Really? All right, as I was saying, when it comes to the Infector, it is a good blueprint for a cool idea because, you know, being able to brainwash your enemies and have them fight for you, that sounds awesome. It's just, the execution was kind of lame, in all brutal honesty, and later on, Ratchet Deadlocked would kind of fix it with the brainwash mod, making it so you can make it so any of your enemies can get brainwashed and fight for you. 
granted, that mod, in my opinion, is one of the weaker ones, just because what's the point in brainwashing your enemies instead of, you know, just killing them? But, yeah. Anyway, let's go up here now. Hello, Tyranoids. Yeah, okay, this bit is something we'll have to go back to eventually, because it requires these swing shots. And unfortunately, we do not have the swing shot yet. Do we? Fractor, no, we do not have the swing shot yet. We will get it soon. Uh, we'll get it soon. Well, to be fair, the swing shot's actually really fun in this game, because unlike the other two games where you had to manually equip it and it was kind of annoying to deal with, this game, it equips automatically and you don't have to worry about it while ever equipping it. It will have... I think this is also the game whenever they just bundled it with the dynamo. Because they're like, wow, these two weapons are a little similar. Why not just, you know, bundle them together? I could be wrong about that. I hope I'm not wrong, though, because, man, if I am, that's going to stink. All right, uh, let's go back to the N60. That should do a good job against these guys. I read how high level a lot of my weapons were right, right now. To be fair, it has, again, it's been a while since I've recorded this game, so, yeah. Oh, hello there, Tyranoids. Get ready for the uh, N60 to just blow you all up as, nor as I normally do. Because I, this is one of my the better pistols in the series, in my opinion. Even though it does unfortunately fall off, like a lot of the weapons in the early Ratchet and Clank games do, and actually come to think of it, a lot of weapons in Ratchet and Clank usually do fall off quite a lot. Like there's only one, or like there's only like a handful of games where they don't. But that's because they're just useful throughout the whole game, and that's also because their weapon rosters are a little smaller. Anyway, let's just deal with all these Tyranoids that are going to attack us. That's right, get out of the way. Alright, looking good so far, and let's just break these. Yeah, our nanotech's good right now. Can't believe I died, though, before. That was upsetting. Because I didn't expect to get decimated that easily. Alright. Just a bunch of, like, the small fry, so we don't have to really worry about them. So let's just... Oh! Wow, you make that big one really hard to destroy, and then you have all these smaller ones that are infinitely easier. Dang. Anyway, now we're just gonna go make our way over there, because that's where the last... uh, stinking... thing is that I need to destroy. I don't even know what they're called. They just... they just... they're a little weird. Alright. I guess they're power generators. Technically. Oh boy. Hello, dropship. Oh, shoot. Hello. Yeah, there are quite a few of these guys over here. Uh, let's uh, swap over the Nitro Launcher. There we go. Dang, took them all out. That's nice. All right, break that. Fire. Okay. That's uh, another Tyranoid down. Yeah, Nitro Launcher is so much fun. I think I'm just a sucker for grenade launchers and Ratchet and & Clank, or just like any of like the grenade-type weapons. Like, I like the Shatter Bomb and Rift Apart, because that is a lot of fun. I like the Fusion Bomb and Into the Nexus, and that. I was really disappointed, though, with uh, Tools of Destruction's Bomb Glove, because it's not that good. On the right side, though, Kraken Time's Bomb Glove is actually pretty fun. Yeah, so let's go wipe out those guys. Very, very nice. Break these crates, because why the heck not? All right. There we go. Very, very nice. So let's go break this. There we go. <laughs> might as well, because we're not going to really use it for the... Actually, we might be able to use it for the upcoming fight, but anyway. Time to finish the job, Ratchet. Get moving. Okay, sounds good to me. So let's go in here and see what the crud we're going to have to deal with. All right, to the control room. All right, so first things first, we are going to reload our weapons, and I wish I could purchase the Annihilator, but oh well. And get ready, because this fight is uh, going to be rough. Alright, so bring it on. This thing is stinking huge. And yeah, he takes a lot of punishment as well. So you need to make sure you keep your distance and just keep firing at him. 
It's very easy with the N60, though. And you can also bust out the mini turrets if you'd like, which I might do for... Oh, boy. Shoot. Okay. Uh, mini turret. There we go. Ah, shoot. Yeah, there's one issue with the mini turrets, though. They can bounce off of this thing, and that's really annoying when that happens. But look at this. They are tearing him apart. I love the mini turrets in this game. They are so much fun. All right. So now... Brum down to half health, and now we're going to have to run away in a moment anyway, because he's going to break that, and now we're going to get to a running segment. Get a weird freeze frame thing here. And now it's going to go into this thing's perspective. Kind of reminds me of the stinking Anubis Rex fight in Pac-Man World, and also the Jano uh, segment in Pac- no, sorry, in Rayman 2. Yeah. We're just running away from an enemy. Yeah, on the bright side, though, this is pretty fun, even though they kind of blur the screen a little bit, which is a little, little hard, not gonna lie. Why is my reticle still there? What the crud? Huh, that was odd. Anyway, now let's just go try and bring this thing down again. Okay, mini turrets are gonna come in handy. Okay, yeah, I need to make sure I watch myself, because if I die, I'm gonna have to redo the whole fight, which... To be fair, this fight's not even that long. It's just... I don't know. It can be a little annoying if you die over and over again, but that's any Ratchet & Clank boss fight. Well, there are a couple exceptions here and there, but yeah. All right. Please just stand by. Okay, cool. I can afford to take a hit as long as I don't fall. All right, let's just throw in some more of the mini turrets. There we go. It's dead. Captain Quark. First, you made another miraculous comeback. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously though, to be a true hero of heroes, you need more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind. I couldn't have done it without. These massive guns! Mwah! Mwah! Glad to see you made it through in one piece, Ratchet. You must have quite a story to tell. Why don't you come back to the Phoenix and fill us in? All right, so we're going to do a couple more things before we end off this episode. First of all, though, I'm going to refill my... Oh, wait, my ammo was already refilled nice and... Uh, second of all, avoid this weapon at all costs. The Hollow Shield Glove, another candidate for one of the worst weapons in the whole series. Wonder why? Well, the shields it creates aren't that helpful. Yeah, they kind of stink. They would actually fix that weapon in Ratchet Deadlocked as well with the Hollow Shield Launcher because the Hollow Shield Launcher is so much better. Anyway, let's go. All right, let's do this thing. So we're just gonna do another halo jump because why the heck not? I don't know why I can't just start us off on the ground. Oh, right, missiles. That explains it all. And now this bit could be really cool. And because uh, it's like an attacking an enemy's base thing, which it's fun, but man, it can actually be really easy to die in these segments. Eh, you'll all see an ow. Gosh dang it. That's out for the love. Why do I keep getting decked by missiles this episode? I swear I'm better than that. Oh well, so let's just drop down here for now. And now we're going to get attacked by a bunch of Tyranids. Oh, Tyranids, so... I said Tyranids like this is Warhammer. Gosh dang it. No, this is far from Warhammer. Alright, so let's go deal with that. That one, very, very nice. All right. Yeah, this should be like a very, very simple mission. All right, we gotta turn this bolt crank though. All right, break that. Turn this bolt crank so then we can extend the bridge, which will be nice for us all. There we go. All right, so now let's go get some more mini turrets over here because they work much better than the hollow shield launcher because they actually help you, you know, take out the enemies. Yeah, the Hollow Shield Launcher does not... Or I say Hollow Shield Launcher. The Hollow Shield Glove. The launcher's good. The glove is horrible. Though we're not going to see the launcher for a long time, because that's going to be in the Deadlock Let's Play, which... Man, I am excited to eventually do that Let's Play, because it's that game is like my favorite game of all time. And I can't wait to do it whenever it comes around to it. 
Well, whenever I get around to it. All right. So there goes all those guys, and now we're just gonna have to fight off these uh, stinking rocket launcher. Well, the missile launchers. Oh boy. There we go. All right, there's that. And now let's go quickly swap over to the nitro launcher. There we go. All right, and this guy is firing at us. So let's just throw that. There we go. Awesome. Okay, looking good so far. So let's just go grab these bolts over here, even though they're kind of not worth grabbing because they're so worthless in this. Okay, spinning Hydra. Well, in the battlefield segments, you don't get nearly as much bolts as you normally do. I think I've already explained that before, though. Ow. Okay, here's that. Can these guys stop decking me with missiles for one second? That would be incredible. Okay, cool. Spinning Hydra leveled up. I'm fine with that. I'm happy about that. It's not level three. It's gonna kick even more butt. Oh, shoot. Was I supposed to go? Yeah, I need to go back here. I think that's actually the final objective. Oh, right. We need to capture the ship there. Okay. So, how are we supposed to do that? There's a bolt crank around here, right? There's gotta be. Or do I actually have to keep going or something like that? Because these guys are just going to keep showing up. Oh, boy. I'll figure it out in a moment. Oh. Oh, we just need to kill all the enemies. Cool. All right, so now we gotta go do the hover ship thing, which it's, uh... I don't like the hover ship in this game. I mean, it's fine. I hate the controls for it, because you gotta just press some... Uh, just to lower yourself and raise yourself is pretty annoying, and on top of that... This thing lacks major impact for me. Unlike the hollow, no, I'm sorry, sorry. Unlike the hover ship in Stinking Ratchet Deadlocked, again, the hover ship in that game was so much better than this thing. All right. So, yeah, let's just keep going. Wow, we really just fortified this place, huh? That's cool. And now let's just go blow this thing up. There we go. So far, we're doing good. Well, okay, they said we're getting hammered. But that means they're just bringing in even more guys. All right, bring it on. Okay, yikes, that hurts. Okay, gonna take down this guy as well. Very good. Now let's go take care of that. Awesome. Now these guys are just gonna start swarming, aren't they? These saucers should back off once you take out the last of the dropships. Okay, where is that dropship? Oh, wait, I think it's coming in over there. Yep, there it is. Oh, wow, there's even more of them. Gosh dang it. All right, bring it on. So let's just go blow that up. Oh, come on, there we go. And raise ourselves again so we can just destroy this one. Okay, cool. Can these stupid guys shut up? That'd be great. All right. Please let that be the... No, there's still a couple more coming in. Gosh dang it. I'm just kind of ready for this one to end, actually, just because it's just kind of the same. Cool, we're done with that mission. Awesome. All right, on to the next one. Operation Thunderbolt. Cool. The Tyranoid base is protected by an impenetrable force field. We're still trying to figure out a way to get past it. In the meantime, Command wants you to take the hover ship and wipe out the Noid forces in the surrounding areas. My question is, how the heck are we still... is... Are these ground forces even working right now? Because, good lord, they keep- they rely on Ratchet way too much because they can't get their job done. Because they're bad at their job. I could stinking rant about the Galactic Rangers for stinking ever for how useless they are. They're- ugh. They're okay combatants, but man, they're just so whiny. Okay. Anyway, let's just go take care of- these missile launchers as well, just so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay. Good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, this is going to be a slow thing for this, because I don't want to take any chances, though I think I can actually get out of the hover ship whenever I want, which is, which is nice. Oh, boy. I, I hope I can actually get out of the hover ship. That'd be nice. I actually never tested that before because I'm just like, okay, I can get through this whole thing with the hover ship. To it... shut down this force field. 
All right. Twenty-six. Why don't you try sticking your finger in the main power transformer? Are you sure that's a good idea, sir? This thing looks pretty dangerous. <laughs> All right, that was actually pretty good. Six, you got nothing to worry about. I got special training with electronic. Uh, thing. H twenty-six, come back. H-26 has been vaporized, sir, but the force field has been deactivated. All right, that trooper deserves a medal. Complete your mission and report back to base for briefing. Okay, we're done with that. Awesome. So now for the final battle, which is uh, a little misleading. Trust me, Sarge. This one's gonna be a cakewalk. This is the final battle for this level. See, like I said, these noids don't have the bulk. These Galactic Rangers are literally all talk. Good lord. Alright, so let's just go in and take out all of these guys. Alright, yep, go, some of those guys are gonna go up there on the cliff there. Or, I guess, yeah. So, oh lord, of course I can't reach that. That's not great. Okay, cool. Good. Awesome. So let's go wipe out all of these guys. Nice. Uh, let's go swap over the nitro launcher since we're out of ammo. Keep your eyes peeled. The noids might be waiting for us at the next bridge. All right. Are there only like two guys following me? Jeez. Once again, how are all of these Galactic Rangers not dead? I guess I actually have no idea why they're not dead now. <laughs> uh, man. Move in and wipe them out. I think that is actually a frequent complaint for some people that the Galactic Rangers are just kind of too wimpy. Which, thankfully, the battle bots in um, Stinking Ratchet Deadlock were just super entertaining and much better. I, I can bring up why Deadlock is better than this game for a billion reasons. <laughs> Might be asking why don't I just cover Deadlock instead? Well, that's because it kind of leads in, like, Ratchet and Clank 3 kind of leads into it a little. Not really, but it still has a little bit of uh, cool references to 3. Alright, we just need to blow up these turrets and we should be fine. Whenever they decide to get to, sh to blow up, there we go. Alright. Eh, crud. Uh, plasma whip? Yeah, this'll do it. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, N60. Let's just go take out these things immediately. Good. Good. I think... We're almost done. Mission accomplished. We are now in complete control of Cabo Island. Hooray! Now we are finished with that crud. Awesome. And with that, we are done with Tyrannosis. For now, anyway. I might have to return later to grab whatever that I need for the swing shot. But first of all, all right. Normally, what I would do is save up and buy the armor. But I never get the Annihilator early. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna change that. Anyway, guys, next time on Ratchet & Clank 3, we are gonna go back to the Starship Phoenix and get our next briefing. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day, guys. Bye!